Welcome to the Two Ton Nerds. As always, my name is Max James, and in this episode of the TTN Presents, I will be talking about Power Rangers, the 2017 incarnation on the silver screen. Now, I've been, well, my friends have been wanting me to talk about this movie, so uh, finally I've actually had time to sit down in front of my camera and talk about it. And my initial thoughts when the final credits rolled was that I loved it. I thought this was a lot of fun. Now, this isn't the Power Rangers that we kind of all know. It's, this one's a little bit darker take on it. It is a bit more serious, and that's what I really loved about it, because a good chunk of this movie is focused on the Rangers themselves. Um, they're all very different in their own right, and that's what's perfect about it. They're very their own characters. Like the Red Ranger is a football player who got injured during a, like a high school prank, and he's on house arrest. Um, the Blue Ranger, he's kind of um, has how do you put it? I think it's autism or something like that um the yellow rangers she's a lesbian the black rangers he kind of has a family problems his mom is very sick and the pink ranger she's kind of like the popular girl who kind of got kicked out of being popular so they they all have their own little turmoils that they're going through and that's what i really like about all of them now, they kind of switched up some of the colors, because if you do know your Power Ranger history, they were quite a little on the insensitive side. You know, like, the Yellow Ranger was Asian, the Black Ranger was black. Um, so, they kind of switched it up, and they kind of, and I really liked the new switch up, so it was a lot of fun. But that, you don't even notice that kind of stuff, if you're like, if you're, unless you're not a true fan of the show, so. But, it's... A lot of fun. I love this movie. Um, I like the villain. I like Elizabeth Banks as the villain, as Rita. She is perfect. I thought I kind of forgot that that's who Elizabeth is, and Elizabeth Banks in this, is in this movie because I just see a villain, and that's that's what's really great. Um, what else? It, the training montages, basically, that's perfect. It's awesome there's a really geeky moment where they finally play the <laughs> my Morphin power rangers theme song when they finally all get into their zords and kind of go off on the battle to fight um goldar oh wow that was just a really cool moment because i i used to watch this show religiously i mean i had all the action figures i was really into all this and i was just like oh i was big in the power rangers when it was on tv so when finally hearing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme song in the new version of it, it was kind of a very geeky moment for me. So, <laughs> um, what else is there to talk about? Um, Brian Cranston as Zordon, he was really good. I like the new kind of like pixelated um, wall effect instead of just kind of like a glass tube with a hologram in it. Uh, I really like the new version of Zordon. I like uh, Alpha 5. I like John Hedder. Um... Uh, I think that's his name. As the voice, I, he is. I like him. He does very good voice work, and he's a good actor. I like him in Skeleton Twins. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think who else. It it's a great movie. I mean, it's fun when they finally morph into the Power Rangers. It's a big epic moment. They actually kind of. It's well deserved. It's not like oh we're just gonna throw them in the suits. We're throwing them into the suits. No, they actually kind of work towards them to being in the suits and it, it's a great payoff and when they finally get into the uh, to the megazord and it finally um takes on Zold goldar it's like an epic moment it's fun and i really like the new um backstory for rita you know that she was the original green ranger and i really really like that i really do and I like some of the new um, cosmetic changes. You know, like it's like the coins that they find are just basically like rocks. They can, and they're just colored and they're they're very simple, but they're effective. So, what else is there to say about this movie? It's a lot of fun. Oh, and I love the music. I absolutely love the music in this movie. The um, 
the covers of all these popular songs. I some of them are great, like the the Stand by Me one. I I absolutely love, when it started playing, like I know this song, and then it fits perfect. I love the use of the cover songs in this movie. Uh, that's really about it. I like the ending credit sequence. Uh, it, was, uh, it was like Tommy Oliver kind of hinting towards the green slash white ranger or whatever. I mean, they, he has like a green jacket there at Lane, so it's kind of big, obvious what they're getting ready to do for the next Power Rangers movie. But it's fun. I loved it. It was so much fun. It Every character in this movie had a purpose. They didn't feel like one was taking shine over the other. I mean, obviously one kind of had to, but everyone had a purpose. They all had good, solid, heroic moments. That was awesome. And by the time they defeated the bad guy and went back to their normal lives, it seemed fitting. Like, they all had their own place in their own world, and it was like, oh, it was perfect. It was just... It was really done really well. Like... Like, it didn't feel like they were trying to do something else. I mean, that's what they were obviously trying to do. But it felt like Power Rangers, but at the same time, it felt different. So, that's what I really liked about it. Um, I'm trying to think what else is there to say. That's really about it. Uh, my name is... Oh, I'm going to give it two thumbs up. Five stars, whatever. It's it's not a perfect movie by no means. But it's a good... pop. It's It's a popcorn flick. But it has a little bit more to it. That's the best way to describe it. Because if you're a fan of the Power Rangers, you kind of want to see them kind of dive into a more serious realm. And that's what I like about it. So, that's all. My name is Max James, and I'm going to go geek out. <laughs>